Hi, I'm Bill Gartland, Senior Director of Fixed Income Evaluations at Interactive Data. I think some of the key drivers in, in, in fueling that change are regulatory changes uh, that are coming out in response to uh, the credit crisis of 2007, 2008, uh, that are now hitting the street in, in a way that is impacting the way that they do their business. You know, dealers can no longer uh, hold, uh, take part in proprietary trading. They require, they're more and more frequently using the agency-based model to, you know, line up buyers and sellers of bonds. They're also under stricter capital rules that make it more and more expensive for them to hold positions on their balance sheet, which is impacting their ability to trade with bonds the way they have historically traded them with their customers. I think people felt that there were inefficiencies in the marketplace. Uh, the data doesn't flow very clean, cleanly in fixed income. There's always uh, all these manual steps in getting the trades done. Uh, some of the electronic platforms that are out there today have sort of smoothed out some of those steps, but pr getting pricing consistently has been a problem. There's still chronically a lack of even distribution of prices amongst all the people. People, you know, you and I see different uh, uh, levels when we look in the marketplace. You know, I don't, I don't have all the same sources you do. You don't have all the same sources that I do, and we, you know, getting a consistent view of where the market is has been very difficult. We need to come to a, a lower cost structure in how and how the businesses are being operated. The lower cost structure involves going to a more automated electronic systems that bring people together in different ways. And I think we're seeing participants moving moving towards that. You know, adopting those new models, expanding the number of places where they're able and willing to trade. Not always doing their business over the traditional methods. I think there will be a new way to, to trade uh, going forward. I think more and more of the business will go on to electronic platforms. Uh, the Dodd-Frank rule did that for uh, OTC derivatives. Now 80% of all CDS contracts are now trading on, on the CEFs. Uh, I don't know that that has worked out the way that the SEC really thought it would or the CFTC th thought it would, but uh, you know that has moved people from what was once a phone-based business to a, uh, an electronic trading business. I think you know there's now more uh, the same folks are now having to trade bonds. They're looking for uh, opportunities to do that. I think in terms of the information flow, it's it's created an opportunity as the speed and the velocity of the trading takes off. More pricing is is necessary. You know, end of day prices are no longer sufficient to fuel a marketplace that's you know moved to a screen where prices have to be kept fresh. And so there's an opportunity for some. You know, we've seen that here at Interactive Data that people are asking for. You know, how can we how can we get more intraday pricing in the markets that are, have lacked that in the past? People are looking to be able to measure risk and and TCA and best execution at the point of impact on the trades, and they need to have other tools and other pricing services in the middle of that. So here at Interactive Data, we're working closely with our customers as they try to meet these challenges, doing what we can to help them get there so that they can participate in the market uh, on an ongoing basis.